Hi guys, your favorite agri entrepreneur is here again with an interesting video on another part of agri business and agri yeah agri business that you've never heard before. Please do not mind the background. I'm actually at the warehouse. I'll be going in now to show you guys exactly what is happening and would extensively come back here and sit down and talk about agri entrepreneurship. Okay? agri entrepreneurship i have mentioned that there are serious there are different types and different um ways or different forms of agri investment agri entrepreneurship you want to be a farmer you want to be a supplier you want to be um, a manufacturer you, there are different different types of agri um, entrepreneurship so yeah that's what we're doing so let me introduce you to a different type of agri business that i've never spoken about here you know when you start something you are not aware that there are other aspects until you eventually start to dig deeper this type of business is called the agri storage and supply business and there are major stakeholders in nigerians agri and you know agri and food production industry now this is an example of a warehouse and what happens in a warehouse today they are supplying grains specifically soya beans to some industries now let me take you back to how it started and where um, it all started from so usually farmers just go onto their farms and farm and eventually they harvest now, after harvesting, farmers are able to gather up their crops and send them to bigger retailers who are not first-hand farmers but are retailers and they buy from them and then sell to these big agri-companies. Now, this is a typical warehouse where the grain for the day is soya beans as I showed you from the beginning of the video. Now, these people are offloading soya beans as i said earlier to um a particular or some industries that produce soya beans product oil and milk and whatnot now this is what the place can look like it is a serious job when i mean a serious job it is a serious job where you are dealing with truck drivers you are dealing with different types well isha plenty but the idea behind this business is for you to be able to gather up crops from low um income farmers and to be able to supply them in trucks and farms and organizations who are into this are olam i think olam is one of the biggest and olam is the one i'm aware of so you um and um nigerian breweries some companies collect directly from retail suppliers while some companies do not now this is a truck that has been weighed and is ready to go to um wherever this truck has fully been loaded now and you see this is not small i think this um carries like 250 bags or more yeah this is a truck and this is what it looks like now um usually before they start to load they would arrange um the truck like this now after arranging the truck um well they arrange clean the place and just start to load these workers work all day for this and they are paid well though i'm not going to lie they are paid well and they are treated well from my experience that i've seen so yeah this is what happened at a warehouse and i'll be going outside now to show you guys what the place looks like um this is what the truck area looks like a lot of companies are around this area this area is called chikaji um in zaria yeah i think that's what the place is called it is a lot of a lot of um, companies are around here who do the same kind of business so these are the trucks some are fully loaded some are not loaded some are waiting to offload you know and i decided to just show you guys exactly what happens because you know what i am a good agri content creator and entrepreneur anyone
so I have come to so another I, place where they are upload uh, offloading offloading some grains so let me take you guys along yeah so this is at um the other place where i told you they're offloading the other one you saw them offloading from the warehouse to to the truck now this is from the truck to the warehouse and on today's episode or on this version this is corn and not um soya beans so this is an offload of corn and this is the warehouse my goodness look at how huge it is so i decided to climb up the truck to count the truck because I, I, I was taught how to count the truck and yes i'm a strong girl give it to me like that yeah so we climb the truck and count it's not easy oh. let me tell you guys one very big secret about a greek business be ready to sweat be ready to suffer be ready for any and every inconvenience you're going to be inconvenienced beyond what you can imagine I'm not joking. So you learn to climb trucks just like I am doing. You learn to visit different markets. You learn to do the extraordinary just so that you can be able to reach out. And one other thing that is important when it comes to agribusiness is for you to be able to be humble enough or find a way. If you like, don't be humble, but have, you have to find a way to communicate with um, your off the cast. so yeah that's all hope you enjoyed this video my name is maria habila and i'm an agri investor and i run an agri company i do storage i do plantation business and i'm just trying to grow my finance and i'm sharing my journey with you guys a day at a time please subscribe to this youtube channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye